Hey, it has been Du here. Today we're gonna learn how to make a transition just by using a text layer. So let's begin. In After Effects, hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm gonna type in Man to uh, for the name of the composition, and let's do Full HD, 24 frames per second, and I'm gonna do three second. Click OK. Select my Type tool and click on the composition to type our pipe symbol by holding down Shift backslash. So I could do this manually or I could actually use an animation preset that allows me to specify how many times to repeat a character that I input. To learn more about this animation preset and how to make it, please watch my previous tutorial. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this pipe symbol 100 times and I'm gonna align the layer to the left and open up my text layer and create our, text, uh, create our first text animator. I'm gonna select scale and then I'm gonna uncheck this X, Y axis. I'm gonna scale it up in the, the Y axis about 2,500. And I'm gonna to go to range selector, open up the advanced options, change the profile to round and randomize order to on. I'm also gonna create a slider control that allows me to change the seed value from the effects control panel. So with the text layers, text layer selected, let's go to effect and let's go to expression control and put in the slider control Rename this to C. I'm going to rename my first slider control to N. And I'm going to option click on my random C and pick with it to my uh, C slider control. So if I scrub this C slider now, I get uh, I can easily change the length of each pipe symbol. I can also uh, vary the size of, the, of the, the thickness of the pipe symbol. Let's do a 500 to get it completely white. So that's good now. Let's rename this text animal to random underscore scale. Let's close it. Command D to duplicate it. And this, we're gonna make one for position. And we're gonna delete the scale property inside this text animator and add a position. And now I'm gonna keyframe, uh, I'm gonna keyframe this position parameter in negative about 1,500 to about let's see let's go to a point where everything we get a complete white field so something like that so 216 okay so we also need to shift our text layer up so we don't see all these bars so let's go up okay so and then we put to play it let's see and then we need to shift downwards a bit okay maybe we can change the seat value to get it all completely white. So this is the part where it can get a little bit tricky just to make sure everything's all filled up. So maybe we can shift this text layer down. Let's actually shift it as much as we can and then change the seed value. Try to find a, find a seed that has like that, that way we don't see any bar extending out in the first frame. And then once we reach the end, let's push it down to about 1,500. There we go. So it's going a little bit too fast, all right? So we want to maybe push it beyond like one second. Let's play that. Okay, let's play it again. Maybe it's just a little bit too slow. Let's put it there. So play around with the seed value and also change the position uh, keyframes to get, make sure you get a complete white fill. I'm satisfied with this. I'm gonna select both keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, open up my speed graph. I'm gonna press the two key so I can get it, make it bigger. And then I'm just gonna adjust my speed curve. All right, that should be fine. Let's go back. Okay. And then to stylize the motion, I can go into create an effect. I'm going to go down to time and then drop in a uh, posterized time. I'm gonna change the frame rate to about 14. So our motion is a little bit stylized. All right, so our mat has been completed. Now to test it out, let's create a new composition and then I'm gonna create a solid. And then I'm gonna go and drop in the mat that we just created into that comp. And uh, let's put the mat on top of our solid and then let's put our track mat, our, our purple solid track mat to alpha mat. So when I play it now, here we go. We get that the review 
using just a single text layer. And also, uh, maybe let's create another solid uh, so we can see it clearly. Let's create to something like a, this green color. Let's call it BG for now. Let's put it at the back so we can see. Okay. And then uh, we can, in this mat, we can also add a drop shadow. So we can go to Effect, Perspective, Drop Shadow. Or I'm going to pause it somewhere in the middle where I can see everything. And I can just, you know, increase the distance just to stylize more of my review. I don't really want to change the softness. I can change the direction. So maybe about, maybe I can go it downwards, right? Like that. Maybe we can even stack it, stack the drop shadow. So let's see what happens. Yes. So we can increase the distance. All right. Very nice. Uh, and uh, so, and then if you just want to change the, the direction of the matte review, you can always just rotate it like that and just scale it up and reposition it accordingly. And that's it. That's how you create, that's how you create a transition just by using a text layer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.